Published, 826 Eastern Daylight Saving Time, the 2nd of April 2018. Updated, 827 Eastern Daylight Saving Time, the 2nd of April 2018. A once grand Palladian mansion that was the childhood home of the real-life Horatio Hornblower has gone on the market for £500,000 but whoever buys the ruined house will have to remove the trees growing inside the walls before moving in. Ward House near Inch, Aberdeenshire, was the childhood home of Sir James. Alexander Gordon, a Napoleonic admiral who C.S. Forrester is believed to have based Horatio Hornblower on, Sir James fought with Nelson at the Battle of the Nile and took part in the American War of 1812. The house was built in 1757 for James Gordon and passed through the Gordon family for generations. Ward House near Inch, Aberdeenshire, is going up for sale for £500,000. The property was the childhood home of Sir James Alexander Gordon, a Napoleonic admiral Sir James fought with Nelson at the Battle of the Nile and took part in the American War of 1812. He is believed to be who C.S. Forrester-based Horatio Hornblower on the house was built in 1757 for James Gordon and passed through the Gordon family for generations until 1952 when it was sold, of the house was requisitioned by the army during the Second World War and then sold off by the family in 1952, it was then sold to a new owner who stripped away the interior of the property and removing the roof to avoid taxes. In 1999, it was placed on the buildings at risk register after being left to the elements. Current owners Douglas Forrest, an architect, and his wife Carol used the rest of the estate to build four sustainable homes before getting planning permission to create seven houses within the mansion. Ward House pictured in 1907. The new owner stripped away the interior and took off the roof to avoid paying taxes and has since been left to the elements the current owners, Douglas Forrest, an architect, and his wife Carol, have been given planning permission to turn the mansion into a seven-house estate pictured, an 1896 map of the Ward House estate. Mr. Forrest has already used estate land to build four sustainable homes and hopes someone else can finish off his project. Mr. Forrest estimates a section could be completed within two years and would cost about £300,000 per section, he said. I first saw Ward House in 1985 with a client when we went out appraising a number of historic building opportunities for future projects together. I was immediately struck by the spectacular architectural style and siting of the mansion with its views out over farmland and hills beyond. Mr. Forrest created four sustainable high-quality homes by converting several existing derelict buildings and one new build, pictured, the new build, he also sold five more for self-builds. Pictured, the stables, one of the barns on the property that Mr. Forrest converted into a sustainable home pictured, the interior of the Dutch barn. Despite converting old buildings, Mr. Forrest kept to modern styles, but it was almost 20 years later before I decided to get a project underway. I am now retired and in view of that, and the MS I live with, it is time for a new owner to finish this magnificent project by tackling Ward House, someone could put it back together and have the most wonderful house, it's an architecturally spectacular and rare project for someone, Sir James Alexander Gordon. Sir James Alexander Gordon was a Royal Navy officer born in 1782 who fought at the Battle of Gras, the Battle of the Glorious 1st of June and at the Battle of Cape St. Vincent during the French Revolutionary Wars. After he became a midshipman, he fought with Nelson at the Battle of the Nile and took part in the American War of 1812. He eventually became Lieutenant Governor of the Greenwich Hospital in July 1840, before making his way up the ranks. By 1868 he was the Admiral of the Fleet, the highest rank in the British Royal Navy. He died in January 1869 and his Times obituary referred to him as the last of Nelson's captains, although many have argued C.S. Forrester's Horatio Hornblower was based on a composition of characters from the Napoleonic Wars. Historian Brian Parrott has argued it was based solely on Sir James. Notably, Sir James was a Commodore who went up the Chesapeake with a small fleet, which is incredibly similar to events from the Hornblower series where he leads a small group into the Baltic, he said, I was immediately struck by the spectacular architectural style and sighting of the mansion. With its views out over farmland and hills beyond, Mr. Forrest decided to sell off the estate because he has since retired after being an architect for 35 years and suffers from MS Pictured, an architect's impression of what Keeper's Cottage will look like after it is completed.